Hello there, here, and today we are going to play Hello Charlotte. So, I've actually played this game yesterday, and I played it for 3 hours. Yeah, that that long. I, I took it that long to finish this game. However, what I didn't realize was that I forgot that in the previous setting I was cropping the windows. So, the whole video was just cropped. Unfortunately. It's not noticeable, but I don't like it. It's kind of not noticeable if you don't go to the menu, but I don't like it, so I decided, yeah, we'll just re-record the video, shall we? Besides, I enjoy playing Hello Charlotte. It's an amazing game. That's all I could say for now. So, enough help, let's explore the game, shall we? Play. Hello, Charlotte. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as they knew it has ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believe in have died and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order and it finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Before I abandon the words that form my noise in my head, form noise in my head, will you be so kind as to join me in dream scene? Hello, Charlotte, episode one: Junk food, gods, and teddy bears. Hello, Charlotte. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. Sure. This is my room. It's rather minimalistic. What a lackluster design. It's rather minimalistic. But modern, don't you think? Sorry, my throat is suddenly having a trouble. Okay, my throat is feeling better, let's continue. But modern, don't you think? Let's go to the dining room. I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm. I hate myself. Okay, look at that. That is Charlotte. I thought at first, like, uh, those are capes, not hair. Hmm. That's what I thought. But no, it isn't. Let's see, this? Then I ate scalpel notes, d everything is such a mess. Yes, indeed. This lock might be useful, 001. How many endings does this game have? Sure. Is there multiple endings for this game? I'm curious, uh, BRB. Well, I don't get any information on how many endings there are, but I know there's multiple bad endings, so yeah. 001. Look out for popular symbols. Only the user with X in their names have access to all doors. Huh, interesting. So are you like... Charlotte's or... Charlotte's? I don't know. Uh, let's see. Current user has restricted access to the data Omnicube. Please input your inquiry. Screens, Omnicubes, tenants... Screens? The, the screen is store user data and monitor user activity. Absolute rules screen must not be turned on. Turn user Charlotte is expected to follow absolute rule implicitly. We are not responsible for bodily injury including dismemberment, mental disturbance, or other harm to the user while being caused by infringement of the rules listed above. Mm -hmm. Omnicubes? Omnicubes, short for omnipotent cubes, are multi-task devices that allow the transportation, duplication, creation, or disintegration of organic matter and storage of data. Please do not put liquid salt inside on cubes, as it might cause unforeseen consequences to happen. Gee, I wonder where we can get liquid soap in this place. Mm -hmm. Nope, we are not going to teleport this time. Penance. Please choose the category- Oh wait, I forgot to turn on the audio because I was like, this thing stuck. There we go, we are back with the audio. Charlotte. Turn user who is yet to complete the educational program. I love the ding sound. Aiden. Ground floor butler, user note, hobbies including swimming and taxidermy. Interesting. Penance. Huxley. A surgeon who owns an interdimensional clinic on the second floor, user note, once ordered 30 bucks of duct tape for unknown purposes. For surgery? Uh, like, you need duct tapes for surgery, right? Bennett. A question real name unknown. Is there not Bennett's name of the, 
on the badge of his husband's suit. Interesting. Oh yeah, this book of truth. This notebook contains all the world's secrets. The puppet are this guy, known type, set type, live type. So there's two types. Live in true realm, purpose, control, and direct. Assigned to humans only, probably. NB. I yes, still so don't really know what NB means. Non binary? Yay, congratulations. Can I went time when the puppet dies? The observers, world government members, wear animal school mask, known representative, umbrella man. The puppet. Hello, Charlotte. Also known as humans, live in false realm, proposed to err. <laughs> known representatives, me, mom, dad, and classmates. Not so sure. <laughs> Not so sure about classmates. Hmm. Huxley, the aliens, pretends to be human because less records live in false realm. Known representative, Huxley, Bennett, Aiden, politicians. Oh, they are all aliens? Okay. Politicians are aliens? God damn. What if we keep teleporting? Rewind point. So yeah, as you can see, I have a lot of rewind point because I already finished this game. And unfortunately, some stuff happened. We could just walk, but I choose to tell. <laughs> we can walk to the sofa, that's so silly. I'm just imagining Charlotte just jumping over the sofa. Like, wee! Watch TV, yes. All 99 channels are commercials 24-7. Next on Panopticon TV, Synthemial Commercial, don't miss it. Switch channel. You and only you can stop the world crisis. Help stop overproduction by buying things now. Switch the channel, yes. Organic junk food at Charlie is the ultimate cure for obesity. Order now by calling 08800XXXXX. That's an FTP for today. Holy shit, Undertale. I'm just joking. So, yeah, let's teleport again because I'm lazy. What? Library? Ah. I don't need to call anywhere right now. Anarchist cookbook, no with more recipes, kaboom, advanced chemistry for explosive enthusiasts, science fiction almanac, 24th edition. These are banned shelves, they just scream danger and geek. Swing for everyone, just making me easy, fancy faults, art of napkin folding. Aiden's bookshelf, I find it cute. Access denied. The shelves are full of literature in alien language. I can read the titles. The Nerd Lord, my favorite salary man, astronaut commando, this is Mother Shell, she loves romance book. Okay. Mother Shelfa. Not obtained. How to disguise yourself as human? The Golden Apples of the Sun, Psychic of the Impossible, Physics of the Impossible, sorry. One Hit Man, my humble bookshelf. <laughs> you, you, you read, you read One Hit Man, that's so cool. My humble bookshelves. The magic world is peace. So there is a note. Do you know that? Okay, I will talk about it later, but for now I will hide it. Okay. It was unlocked yesterday. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call 080-0800-XXX to order food from Charlie's. So, so, mom, what does so, so mean? It's, is it like love? This note is eight, min eight months old. <laughs> Damn. My parents work on holiday. New task receive order food. Okay. Some tableware inside, some tableware inside. Just unlock the house, 002. Basement dissection room, tailoring room, test rooms. D dissection room, excuse me. Grand floor, living rooms. Just unlock. Puppet manual, 000. The puppet control menu has four options. Has. Stuff, task, rewind, points, exit. Junk is stuff we throw away, stuff is junk we keep. Task are the left class. Rewind points cannot save data of previous events. NB should only be used if the puppet dies or if the puppet must leave the control console. Exit should not be an option for a responsible puppeter. Oh gee, gee, gee. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Just kidding. Sorry about that, Charlotte. I was, I, I did try to do that multiple times back in the previous playthrough of this game, but it doesn't do anything. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I did it multiple times. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Last time I tried to cook something, the world was almost destroyed by the food monster. 
，来洗白呢，利用 p r o t e s chemical s u n s h i n 和物质表面的酸。Sub of rain, not even our dining room doors have anything edible. Okay, what, 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 watch this. Watch this. A bottle of soap. Yeah. Yes. Ew. It's not tasty at all. Y yeah, you are not supposed to eat soap. I. I mean, I'm the one. I guess I'm the one that makes it, makes you do it. So yeah. But I don't know if you would eat soap the whole time. Oh, also look at that. Do you notice that there's something weird whenever we walk with Charlotte? I noticed that. Like, look, look at that. There's a distortion going on. That's it, cool. So now, what? What do we need to do? Oh, yeah, order food through the phone. Hey, it's Charlie Organic Young Foods. Please, please place your order. Um, I like the order like a friendly chicken nuggets and an instant egg with a soda, please. Mmm, delicious. Yum. I shouldn't be so nervous when talking to a machine. Thank you for ordering it, Charlie. Say how this with us. God damn it. Stop. Oh yeah, find a way to get to the attic. I think there was supposed to be a dialogue, but I kind of missed that. Maybe because I clicked the phone. That's weird. Access denied. Input magic word. Uh. Fuck. Ill matter, child. Okay, so apparently there was a note here which says please, and somehow I missed that. Either I didn't check my inventory, or I didn't realize that. And I spent like minutes trying to figure out what, what the magic word is until it just clicked to me. Hey, what if the magic word, because they are keep saying we are an ill-mannered child, is please, and it is please, and I'm so like, so happy that I figured it out without the note. I just noticed the existence of the note now. That's amazing. Please. What a nice girl, access granted. A certain shame noise is coming from behind the door. Want me to open it? I'll wait until they leave. Oh. The sounds are gone now, she'll be safe. Oh. Oh. No. No. Okay, I was going to explore around. I, I already opened the door. I didn't know this would happen. I can mail us found. I better return to the dining room. Need to ask receive with Charlotte. I god damn it. I'm sorry, Charlotte, I'm not a responsible person. At least Seth is not a responsible person. I am responsible. I don't know. Am I? Well at the end you'll be alive, that's all I could say. Letter leads to the basement. Get answer the door first. Nothing of interest in here. Nothing of interest in here. The letter leads to the first floor. Interesting. Yes, totally. The first time I did this, I opened the door as well, so yeah. Charlotte opens the door. This is Jane Cockroach behind you. <laughs> Charlie's healthy junk food delivery. Please sign here. C for Charlie. Okie dokie. Can I make my signature beautiful? Charlie has a large X in the paper. Oh, look at that. You're so cute. Nailed it. Thank you. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. The delivery man hisses politely and leaves. Yippee! Have they like a meal? Let's go. Mm-hmm. So, eating time. Heck, chicken nuggets are vegetables too. Ow. I mean, it contains corn, so yeah. What a mockery of real food. Is that all they can offer these days? You shall try wallpapers, dear child. They are especially rich in iron. Well, they, they are called wallpapers, not wall irons, do they? Hmm. Don't listen to him, so it's much more, it's much better nutrition. Where do you all appearing from? Um, guys, do I get to see this? 
And then sooner they have to cancel a person's made due date. Anyway, Mr. Aiden, the door to the ground floor carter doesn't open. It's closed for minor construction works. Nothing to worry about. If you come at a night, you might find something interesting there. Aiden pinches Bennett. Ow! Bennett is just so funny, dude. Stop giving the child better ideas. Don't listen to him, dear girl. If you want to join in, I'll be watching Soap Night in the TV room. Soap arrest is called for show milkshake. So, mmm, yummy. Bennett, please. I almost forgot. Come to the extension room later. I have a favor to ask you. I didn't actually leave too. Okay, then, the section room it is. Hello, what are you watching? And it's absurd in watching TV. Okay, Bennett, have fun. Enjoy your soap. Oprah milkshake. X is the it was two plus two. Five you five. Can you prove that? If not, X is night. Four. Fine. Four of course. If you are free to make that statement, then it's correct you may pass. God damn it, I hit this door. This <laughs> are you still asking the question? Fuck you dude. So basement, huh? Um, I forget where I put the basement key. Basement key, huh? It must be somewhere in my room. Ah, okay. I forget about picking up the basement. I have to answer the door again. Are you serious? Okay then. Find a basement key. Oh, wait, I'm adjusting my seat. Okay then, let's continue. Four. Four cars. Unlock the door. How did they get down the basement without... Yeah. Hmm. Same till I start inside. Open me. Open the box? Yes. Shut up and the box. Suddenly everything collapsed into singularity. Suddenly I destroyed the world in less than a second. What? Action must try again. Yeah, she's sure. This game is a little bit silly, I love it. It's filled with fabric. And in last order, even his mannequins are in place. Yet another polka dot dress. A polka dot dress. His dress is prettier than the one next to him. A pretty dress. Another polka dot dress. Polka dot. A simple black and white dress. Hi, Mr. Raiden, being a busybody as always. Hello, dear girl. Here's a dress I want you to try on if you don't mind. I love you. I put on a dress to tailor me. Oh, look at it. That's so cute. Why, well, it's totally red. It's called White Spotted Jellyfish Dress. It, it is indeed. It looks like a white spotted jellyfish. It still needs a few finishing touches. I'll give it to you when it's ready. Aw, oh, thank you very much. And in the steps are in the process, let's not hinder him. Mm-hmm, and that's Huxley. Do it yourself, heart massage, everything you want to know about string theory but fear to ask. Uh, can you eat strings? Just asking. I'm, I totally did not eat strings and w was wondering about that. The selfish gene, but science, the man who mistook his wife for a hand. Ah, uh, finally some book have read. Which one? Paving paper, embrace your inner pika. The Almanac of Official History. The Elder Don't Scan Access Denied. What do you do if your daughter brings home a uranium? You saw like the umbrella man. He appeared out of nowhere when I was a child. Whether I was in the kindergarten or the library, with mom or alone in my room, he was always there. Watching me with his yellow eyes from the darkest corner of the room, not uttering a single word. Yellow eyes, huh? Wait a second. Oh, so that's what yellow eyes mean. Interesting, I'm taking note of that. And I tried to tell her about him, 
tell Mara about him, he lifted a finger to his lips, as if not wanting me to speak, so I did it, so I didn't. In my book of truth, I called him the observer. As soon as I defined him, the man spoke for the first time. Oh, that name is not bad, I must say, he remarked. However, will then anyone who watches over you become an observer? I'd agree. Um, then I'll call you the umbrella man. Slightly taking back the man cough. Um, although I wouldn't have I would have preferred a more euphonic name, let it stay this way. Since then I give every new person I met in house a distinctive name. The umbrella man two zero zero six. When Mum asked who I was talking to, I didn't tell her about the umbrella man. Instead I told a lie. Interesting. My birthday. One day of my on the day of my tenth birthday, the doorbell rang in the middle of the night, and a man wearing a top hat and black suit was standing behind the door. Hello, little Charlotte, he said with the smell of men who offers children candies. Mother told me not to talk to strangers, I answered in a determined voice. I let us sign. I am not stranger to you, human memory is so ephemeral, isn't it? Even if I do know you, you must be a bad guy, I insisted. Me? Bad? Why so? I had to come up with something. That's because all villains wear top hats. Oh, is it so? What a silly little prejudice. The, the, the man commented with a smile now. Then let this appearance fool you. With a word, he took off the mask. As I thought, the man was none other than Umbrella Man himself. Although I love to have chat with you on your significant day of the year, I came for another reason. I tilted that my head curious. Listen closely, little one. I came to inform you that the puppeter has been assigned to you since you've reached the age of ten. Who's that? They are a representative of the true realm, designed specifically to watch over your troublesome species. The one assigned to you is a Seth type puppeter. As for their purpose, they are here to guide you, the puppets, throughout your short lives. Why will they do that? You see, little one, free will is fiction. Uh huh, I chewed on my words, trying to come up with a smart reply. Ah, uh, this choice of word must have been difficult for a child, and if you put it another way. Meet your new friend who will, who will watch over you, their name is Sam. Don't bully them too much, okay? Interesting. Seth, huh? Sub Bible. So, okay, sub so, so Bible. So, your son is an alien. How do I see your IQ by watching soap operas? I'm not sure about the useful enough for the second book. Usefulness. The Complete Guide to Conquering the Universe. 425 Fail Proof Edition. This is the night. Animal Man Set Free. Human Encyclopedia, the complete edition, clinical surgery for dummies, 1,000 human diseases to die from. Okay, I'm fine. Hello, Axley. Axley is busy dissecting corpse, presumably it was human once. Hi, Dr. Axley. Hello, Lady Charlotte. How about the little talk we had earlier? Can you do me a favor of looking after my lovely nephew for a couple of days? We're talking through a mask, so that's how we sound. I've been so busy working on a cure for eye plague that I can keep an eye on him at all. For all I know, he could be collecting a rare specimen in broad daylight right now. He's too passionate for his own good. Aren't you too passionate for your own good yourself? The main reason why I'm worried about him, however, is that he has no sense of direction, you see. He may, be have, he may have a bad attitude, but don't let it get to you. Okay, I'll help. Felix, come here. Felix is up for him. Uh, I don't need anyone to look after me, Uncle Huxley. Right, right. Now go play with your new big sister. Uncle has signs to do. There he goes, King. It's nice to meet you, Felix. I'm Charlotte. Hi, if you want to make it through the day, don't you dare invite him in my personal space. Well, I can, I can almost feel his glare burning into my skin. This is going to be a long day. No locations in the dissection room available. My test to receive kill time. Woohoo! Let's go. Okay, pause, pause, pause. BRB. Okay, sorry, I decided to take a drink break. Let's continue, shall we? Books, books, books. Mm hmm. Wait here. Access granted. Okay then. Oh my god, that's a lot of. That's a lot of Bennett. So, this is where Bennett's crew works. 
Pretty much, stuff usually blows up in here so it has restricted access. It's Franklin. Baldwin. Archibald. Well, wait, is there something following you? Antionette. Lector. Blanca. Goodwin. You can see that Antionette is just so fast. Hello, Florence. What's up? You discovered that adding dark matter to dough improves the taste of a chocolate cake by 15%. Yep, okay. Don't tell anyone. Okie dokie. Okay. And now I know your secret. Now will I, I will add dark matter to my chocolate. You cannot stop me. This person has not suit label. Interesting. Nothing of interest in here. Hunt, hunt here. Take it. No. Put it back. Put it back. And no. But, uh, where is it? Wait, wait, there's an option to take it back. Right, she'll have now. This one's fake anyway. Goddamn. Mr. Lodge. Shh, they're watching. I'm always considered the possibility of being watched. It is very possible if we take into account all the conspiracy theories. Indeed. Oh, have you checked this bookshelf? <laughs> Uranium, yeah. If I could sense for imbecility, Hortian, the title is rather accurate. <laughs> okay then. Are human diseases led to you? Actually, no, we can develop symptoms so similar to human to human cult, though. Interesting. Wait, I'm adjusting my headphones. I'm getting a lot of things needs to be adjusted. This door. I can open this. Access granted. Oh! <laughs> what is this squishy? A specimen for research in an organ supply, but look, but do not touch. 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 No. <laughs> what did I say about touching it? I didn't. I didn't actually didn't know that you can touch it. Oops. Okay, okay then. Bye. Access granted. One door out of three leads to death. Spooky. Bleh. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Monty Hall room. What the hell is the Monty Hall? Okay, so safe time here. Uh huh, let's go with the third door. Door 3 opens, bang. <laughs> Bad end, Darwin a word. Actually, I already know what, which door will give us reward, so yeah, there's that. So apparently there's two combinations, the first one is opening the first door and, the, and then open door 3, and then we get an as a rebound. We can keep doing that multiple times, and we can also do this, open doors 2. And then doors 3. Oh wait, doors 1. My bad. Not door- uh, I keep- I keep pressing the wrong button, goddammit. This game doesn't- I don't think this game has a skip ability without accidentally pressing a button. Mm-hmm. Yay! We get an applause! Woo! That's amazing, I love it so much. So we get an Azuri one. I don't know what that does. Either we eat it or we just like decorate ourselves with a bunch of ribbons. No. Never trust boxes with hearts on them. Okay. Okay, dokie. We said that box is bad. Simple black and red dress. Want to try it on? What do you take me for? A dress up doll? Yes. Now put it on. Put on the white outfit. Do it. Still busy, Mr. Aiden? Hello, Charlotte and Felix. Since you're here, would you mind trying on some clothing? What a pain. Short covers Felix's mother hand. Of course we do. Interesting. No, first floor for us? I see. I wonder where this door leads to. You and your curiosity, fine, I'll open it. Wow, we are in outer space! Satisfied? Yep. Oh, interesting. Found something nice, take it. 
better not take it. Helix Nebula owner shape. Wow. I had to proclaim myself the Empress of the Helix Nebula. How does that sound? Adelaide Cheesy, you are the Empress Emperor of Helix Nebula. Yippee. We're gonna transfer the ownership to Felix? That's so sad. We can make Felix read the book though, but it doesn't do anything. Is it even at Felix or. Yeah, see? Felix. It doesn't do anything at all. Which is unfortunate. This door is locked. I don't want to disturb my neighbors. This door is locked. This one is different because it's locked by itself. Without any need for reasoning, huh? The manly art of cross stitching sounds contradictory. I mean, that is manly. Speaking of manliness, why does Huckley wear bunny ears? He's been doing this for a whole week. Uncle Rest the Pearl has been seen to the patient suffering from an airborne disease, apparently. Not that it is working. I mean, it is working. I, I, I love the look. It's amazing. I feel calm. I feel I feel I want to be get a surgery from him. Well, at least he's trying his best. What did he say? English orthography in your autonomy atlas, art religion, says fight. This state allows for insignity and to the others. Mother shell. I get used by just from looking at the serious books. Hush, hush, they can be that bad, right? We both regarded flipping through cowboys, but I sure no. No. I'm sorry I made you th go through this. No, it's okay, I'm sorry too. No. Pain. This book is rather useful. Why do you need it? Do you know that I appear perfectly human? The Golden Apples of Sun, Physicals of the Impossible, Humble Bookshelf, One Hit Man. Your testing book is not that bad. Thanks, can you recommend me some literature like? If you are interested, fine. Uh huh, lock. Soap again. Sorry, cooking is not good. I'm afraid I'll blow up this kitchen this time. Blow up the kitchen this time. I said that you'll be cooking, I can make things myself. What would you like? How about cottage cheese casserole? Mmm, yummy. Hard cupcakes it is then. Mm -hmm. Let's see, soap. Can we give it to Felix? No, we can only give it to Charlotte. And then Bennett. Bennett looks sad. Hi, Bennett. Are you there, Sonny? After 1037 episodes and 10 special, they finally confess their undying love to each other. Underneath my protection suit, I am dying from complicated feelings. Let's leave him until he's ready to return to the harsh reality, shall we? <laughs> we shall. Hi, Bennett. Oh, it's the same dialogue. Look at that. Well, Big Sis is going to sleep, how about you? I do not require sleep. I'll grab a bottle of soap and make sure your brain waste while you sleep, stupid human. Sounds like a plan. I suppose I don't have to accompany you to the bathroom. No, in hell, go to sleep already. Good night. Good night? I don't know where they go. Well, I'm off to bed. Good night. Good night, Seth. Something slimy crawls in the room. Hide, don't hide. Don't, don't hide. Hello there. Meow. Oh, look at that. I see my maggot cat. Yeah, it's it's just your maggot cat. Big deal. One day my cat turned into a maggot. Or was he maggot all along that he turned that turned into a cat? Meow. Oh, look at that. That's so cute. The maggot sits as it makes itself comfortable in my bed. Good, good cat. Short gets the maggot. It purrs. Charlotte falls asleep peacefully. Oh no, what was the what was the sound? Next time Mr. Gun back soon too. Did he get us in the house? How about a wiggle look cream? Consider taking pepper spray, please be careful. Pepper spray? Yeah, sure. A flamethrower would be more effective, don't you think? 
Find the legs. I have nothing bad time in him. Oh no, who really? Okay, so what I love about this game is that this game is a game that deals with meta themes of how uh, there's us, the player, controlling the lives of people here, the characters here, and make decisions for them. And you know, it, it it's just like one of those games where you feel like your action have reality in it, in it, like real impact in it, because you are directly tied to the game yourself as a player. Instead of the other normal game. But anyway, uh, where was I? This game is interesting because it acknowledged that we are, we are actually a player. It, it, it immediately acknowledged us as a player from the start. And it's not like the, char the characters themselves don't know that we're controlling them. Unlike other games where you are usually like, the characters don't realize that they are being controlled or something like that. Or the other people doesn't realize that this character is being controlled or what else. Or they realize that they are being controlled but they are just like gonna hide it for a while. There's a lot of game like that, you know, like Doki Doki Literature Club is the example of the la later. Undertale is probably the example of the former. But this game is an, is an unique one because it immediately acknowledged all that Charlotte is being controlled by Seth without even like uh without even focusing on it too much it, it no how, how does the word means we it acknowledge it acknowledge that fact but also but also accepts it as a daily reality which is like very interesting like it's just a casual thing you know it's just a day to day life thing big deal also i love I love how you can notice that sometimes Charlotte dialogues reveals that Charlotte face on the left, right? But also it also it also Charlotte face also appears when Charlotte is thinking something that others cannot appear. But sometimes it does not appear. So I th I'm thinking that it may be by design to like uh, symbolize of how some folks are Charlotte's original folk and others are not Charlotte's folk. I'm just thinking it like that. That's so. That's amazing, you know. This game is just an, have an amazing design. That, in that sense. Either way, let's continue. Felix is not here. Felix is not here. Bennett is. Uh, Bennett is snoring in his sleep. Me 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 me. Felix is not here. So Felix is here. Okay. The coffee glass is missing, go in? No. The door won't open. Felix couldn't have gone here, could he? Oh, he could. What is this place? I don't remember a house having a direct passage to the princess castle. It's so dark to see anything. Uh, yeah, that. Take lantern, yes. You will find what you need upstairs. Really? Do I? Do I? Will I find what I need upstairs? Open the door, yes. Bad hand shot. <laughs> What's with this game with guns? How many g guns are behind doors in this game? So, yeah. The limit guide to skinning and gutting, homo sapiens, cooking with passion. I wonder why there are bear toys everywhere. It's raining, it's pouring, the old bear is growling. Oh, huh? It didn't do anything. These toys are kinda cute. Human taxidermy, going wild, hunting, human rights, the contestant, contestant meaning of nature. Thread gland 101, festive recipes. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. Mm hmm, same boot. Just a yellow teddy bear, nothing scary at all. Is it my imagination or did it its eye move? A crack in the wall, a little girl was coming from it. Rain, rain, go away, little teddy wants to play. Oh, yeah, we can make ourselves die here. We can dodge like that? Ouch. 
But then little teddy wants to play. Uh oh, there we go, an art of the game. That's cool, I love it. Oh, by the way, you need to walk fast here because the teddy bear can do that. I wonder if we can just dodge it by going upstairs, but uh, I feel like that's kind of redundant because we can just do this instead. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should have like... I forget how to do it. Wait, maybe I just need only to take one step ahead? There we go, we're done. Hum, hum. So, we are continuing. I'm practicing the voice. And now we can go in. I don't hear the sounds anymore. Let's enter? Yes. Nothing inside. Backdoor key. Vegetable. Pots. Oven. Cabbage and tomatoes. Sing. Interesting. It's the kitchen. Oh, there. Hello there. <laughs> the little girl's eyes well up with tears outside of Charlotte. Um, I'm very sorry. Can I help you with some? Somehow, are you lost? Aren't you lost yourself, big sister? That hurt. Leave. Freya doesn't talk to strangers. Oh, uh, okay, Freya. The girl mumbled something herself, walking from side to side. Book of Truth, let's see. Is it a build? No, not yet. It's locked. Of bears and men. Men and bear cubs. The lovely honey. The bear factory. Dare I be toys take one? Don't. Why do you need another one? Hush, it's cute. Obtain a rabbit toy. Okay, cool. So... The girl's eye light up at the sight of rabbit toy. Want me to give it to you? I... I can have it. Sure, here you go. Thank you. Your eyes looks like egg whites. I'll take that as a compliment, I guess. <laughs> it is a compliment. I'm looking for a little boy. He must have lost his way in this place too. Have you seen him by any chance? No, there's no one but Freya. I see. You must be very lonely. Hmm, Freya's fine on her own anyway. Get lost already if you're not going to stay. Heard an unlocking sound. Oh, Bye Freya. I love the sound. The bear of the key shall pass. These are in life, are they? The bears of the ring shall pass. Take a break. The bear room. I hope there are an actual bears up there. Don't look in the mirror. The cat room. Don't look in the mirror, huh? So look in the mirror? And... Don't take a break. Gotcha. The window seems to open from another side. Don't drink from red cup. The flowers are ready. Pets do not tell lies. Interesting. Thundering from the left cup. Enter the right fireplace. These flowers are pretty. So there is something ongoing here. One of them is lying. And we need to enter the right fireplace in order to win this. If we go to the wrong one, like this, 
will burn to death. Then and burn to death. However, even if we enter the right one, we 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 will still die because we don't drink the tea. That's how it works. At least. So the answer is this one. However, I think it's that one actually. It's this one. However, I'm interested on uh, thinking of what the logic is, you know. Because it's upside down, so what is telling the truth? So, cats do not tell lies. Cats definitely tell lies. Don't drink from the left cup. Left of whom? That's the question. This one? It's, it's kind of confusing when they use left and right, but but we don't know which one is left or right. Right cup. This one. So, one of the cat is lying. The bookshelf is definitely maybe not lying. I don't know. It could be just like a uh, MB ambiguous dialogue because the right fireplace could be you just need to enter the right fireplace or maybe the right fireplace who knows this one i'm not really sure how the logic works so let's just say the cat do not tell lies right this cat says don't drink this so that's true this says enter the no bookshelves are lying the bookshelves are lying i think the bookshelves are lying so Cat do tell lies. This tell lies not to drink the left one. So you should drink the left one. So bookshelf do not lie. Right? So am I supposed to look at this direction like this? So this is the left cup. And don't drink from this. But yada yada yada. And, and since that cat is not symmetry. And looking into this direction, the right cup is this one. The cats don't tell lies. And because we are looking at this direction, the right one is this one. The fire embraced me. If we go in inside there without the protection, the protection will burn. Ring of pain. Either way, I'm still confused about this puzzle. The logic behind it. So we can go in here now. Unlock the door. Once upon a time there lived three bears, a little small wee bear, a middle sized bear, and a great huge bear. The curtains are heavy. Eat the porridge. Notice again, what's wrong? The default clock sound, who even used that anymore? Let's li leave the let's leave this horrible place as soon as we find Felix. <laughs> I don't know who keep using this. Tick tock, tick tock. The horrible default sound, no. My nightmare in every video game. Get it? The birch was delicious, I wish there was more of it. See? There's no Charlotte in it. That's what I noticed later on. If we. The birch bowl makes me kind of hungry, eat it? No. Thanks, there's no way I'm eating this. There's Charlotte in it. So we can see which one is Charlotte's real thought and which one it isn't. The big birch bowl makes me kind of hungry, eat it? Yes. So there's a reason why we are eating them, by the way, because... Each had a porch bowl, a chair, and a bed. They were honest, good, nature-trusting bears. When day a girl came to their house, she could not have been a good, honest little girl, for first she peeped in, the, in a keyhole, and seeing nobody in the house, she lifted the latch. Sit in a chair. Do not sit in the chair then. Sit in the chair, yes. Oops, it broke. Have I gained weight lately? The chair looks comfy. Sit on it. It's so soft, not comfy at all. The big sofa looks comfy. Sit on it. It's too hard. Silver key. A collection of bear tails and following bears. Neat. And now, if we go outside. Yeah, it's my porridge! You sat in my chair! Bad and you've been a bad girl. Bad, bad girl. There we go. That's what happens if you eat the porridge. So do not eat the porridge. Or do not sit in a chair. Or do not sleep on the bed. Whatever you do, just say no. 
Right, didn't we make me get anything inside, will ya? See, that's Charlotte's real folk. Yep, I better not. There's still butterflies in my stomach after the tea blend in the cat room. So, we are continuing this way? Okay then. No, not sitting in a chair. I can sit on the floor if I'm tired. Silver key. Well then, I want to accidentally break this chair. So, we continue forward? And nothing happened. I know how the tree story, tree bear story ended. What about you? The intruder left through the window. The intruder killed the bears. The bears killed the intruder. Yes, but we are not in a fairy tale. Hmm. Maybe, maybe they both kill each other. And there's no survivors. Have you think about that? Hmm. Sleep on the bed. Don't sleep on the bed. It's not time to be resting, I need to find Felix first. It's all, al all alone out there. I wonder why the Texas crop. That's not me, by the way. The Texas crop by itself. He. This one isn't crop, which is like interesting. Table wear some herbs. Table wear some herbs. Boring. Now we have to look for an exit. If she had been a good girl, she would have waited for the bears to invite her into the house where they were good bears. Bears. But she was rude, bad, bad little girl. Or not. Or it's all fine. We haven't done anything, so bye bye. So the way to go outside, the door doesn't open. It's through the window, like the story says. Open the curtain, yes. That's why this window was like seems to be able to be opened from the other side. That's that cool. So now we got the silver key, but anyway. Other than the silver key, we need the key for the other door, which is through this. Did it is clear send me from shells? Mm hmm. White flowers are my favorite. Gender napkin. This thing looks like it will move any second. Oh, they have a 25 edition of the Sand Fiction Almanac. Oh, can we take it, please? It's too heavy for you to carry. Listen, we didn't come here for pressure hunting. You can take it. High five for a fellow nerd. Yeah, favorite Charlotte. A plain science fiction elm monarch. Yippee! Woo! Woo! Dance, victory, dance, victory, dance. So let's now go outside. The door isn't open. Can we use something? Oh no, the bear is active. Ah, bear! Ah, there's a fucking bear. Almanac. Are the books said the bear? Yes. Dude, we <laughs> fucking book just killed the bear. God damn. Never underestimate the power of words. The toy isn't moving. No, but we lost the book. What the fuck? So now we can go here. Unlock the door. Gonna be the honey to kill the rabbit. Gonna be the honey to kill the rabbit. The bear, little boiler bear, Paddington bear. The lord of the bears, the bear, the witch, and the wardrobe. Bear in peace. Belly of the bear, Harbinet and Grovich, the girl with the bear tatty. Rupert bear, we need to pull the life and times of the grizzly bear. Uh huh. Grizzly Adams. That's different. The mirror shows the future. Interesting. I'm gonna use this as a thumbnail. The let's screenshot it. Ah, this feels sort of sharp. <laughs> yeah, it's indeed. Mhm. Mm the mirror shows the hidden. Hello there. That's so <laughs> unnoticeable. Amazing. Unlock the door. Huh. There's nothing in here. Yeah, there's... Or is there? I don't know, is there something in here? Look at that, the distortion. Yeah, 
Yeah, no, I don't think there's anything here. Unless we can direct you. Nope, we can make it like old RPG, uh, new RPG Maker game where we can do stuff. I don't know RPG Maker actually, so yeah. Nothing in here, so let's get outside. There you are, little burglar. Just the room you will await your punishment in. Lion room. The lights haven't eaten for a long time. <laughs> okay then. So yeah, we just need to pick the right room. Oxygen room. Room is filled with pure oxygen, make it impossible to breathe. <laughs> Alright. Amazing room full of oxygen. It's just like Jojo Jojo Bizarre Adventure. Torture room. You say can it get any worse, right? That's a bit torture room, they didn't mean that I'd be tortured here. This room doesn't look any different from others still. Yeah, indeed. Oh. Well. Error. What's wrong, Seth? I'm having a problem with the program. Does it mean I can do what I want? No, assembly can access the wine menu. Well, that's too bad. Waiting room. It does look different now. So we can only save through manual save now. That's amazing. Seems like we can go in. Logic error. No going back. Yeah, hello there. Felix? You? Hakim. I found you. And ready, Big Sis is here to help. Can't breathe. Stop this irrational display of affection this instant. Small talk aside, how did you get here? I uh, got lost in your house. <laughs> Me when I go to my friend's house and stumble upon their basement where they where they lock the organs in. There's no way I'm buying that. Anyway, anyhow, we need a plan. I'm not gonna sit around and wait until the bears use us for use us for taxidermy. The bears? What are you talking about? When are you captured by them too? Excuse me? I just get here and I don't have a clue what they're talking about. Anyhow, you really you really need to have followed. Do you even have any weapons on you at all? Only books. Seth is against violence. Please excuse me while I'm slamming my, my hand against my forehead. Good thing we made up before you could get into more trouble. Fine, fine, I get it. Sorry for being a burden. Well, there's nothing you can do about it now. Still, what are you really doing here? Well, there's a high probability of an oracle who has taken physical form appearing in this dimension. Such an occurrence happened once in several millenniums. An oracle? What is that? For you, they are called the gods. In short, they are entities capable of creating small universes. I'm going to do those for now. It is not like your puny brain would comprehend it at all. It sounds like fun. Okay. Uh. Oh, we can see. What's this? Secure data on presumably. This one seems broken. Oh. Want something nice? Take it. Yeah, sure. On BGM change. God damn it. Oh, the shelf. Opening the boxes is meaningless. Ha ha ha. Is there even seeing a door not? Let's look around. Lies are written in capital letters. Oh, interesting. See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, have no fun. Lies is written in capital letters. On something nasty. Take it. As a reborn. Lies. Actually, I did not read this back then, so that's interesting. So, as a ribbon is something nasty? Hey, this is a safe point. I don't really know what that is. Is this a TARDIS? Like Doctor Who? No? Or is it a cloning machine? Black hole. Take it. So that's a lie? This is.
Gus made Aldron's deadly. Yeah. That's what happened. I'm not really sure which one is the lie or not. So these boxes, we can open them to get stuff. Oh, cool. so these three boxes do not open them. That boxes do. <laughs> Let's just do that, shall we? There we go. We are back to the game. This one. I'm not really sure which one is lie or not. Not a joke. You can shoot us all. Nobody can shoot you. Better hand funny joke. <laughs> God damn it. Okay then. Wait, bad and funny joke? You mean funny and bad joke. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> I hate myself. Uh, but yeah, that's... How many guns are in this game? So yeah, do not interact with those. Gotcha. And some nice thing it Yes. And doodles. Oh my god, the doodles, yes. I love it. Extra art from Etherain. I love it, the way they use it as... Look at that. As a way to put extra arts inside the game. That's so amazing. Mm-hmm. Doodle safe. Ah, uh, this is a different doodle. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's cool. Charlotte and Seth. Just having fun. You know, there's a question in my head. Seth is Seth supposed to be us? Or is Seth is just another being in this universe that don't know that don't know that they're being controlled by someone out there? Such as us. Okay, that's bad. Take it, nothing inside the box. As a reborn. As a reborn. I I don't even know what as a reborn does. Doodles, I think there's only two doodles maximum. So yeah. We cannot get any more doodles to show people, I think at least. That's a black hole. I'm pretty sure that's a black hole. I still remember a little bit. Hall of Ignorance. And there he is. Question 1. 2 plus 1. 3. You, now, you gotta remember that, okay? There's a notebook that looks out of place, read it. Once upon a time, there lived they live a tiny god. The tiny god created a tiny universe filled with, filled with tiny people. The tiny people create more tiny people and tiny things. Engage in tiny wars and become tiny piles of dust. Happy end. Interesting. So this one is rather confusing, but luckily I know how to do it. At least like this. There we go. Bingo. So the first one is three. This one. Oh no, this one. Don't read. Read. Bad and don't read. That's what happened if you read books. Now I'm a true gamer because I don't read books. Charlotte, you're a true gamer. So three. Let's read this game, shall we? Just skipping it. And then go back here so we get V. Uh, the drones are blocking my path. That's annoying. Knock knock. Who's there? Uh, I suppose this is the one that we need to go. How did we end up here? I feel sick from this illogical bullshit. Question 2. Turn 9 upside down, what number you get? 6. So, 3, 6. Question 3. What's less than 6 and more than 4? 3, 6, 5. 3, 6, 5. Question 4. Derivative of E5. That's just unfair. Too easy, the answer is 0. Okay. Three six five zero. Oh no, nope, wrong. We need to do a little round trip. There we go. 
and we are out. So, 3650, that's a password for this door right here. There we go. So, okay, let me tell you a little story. I actually spent like at least 20 minutes in the previous room, I think 15 maybe, just exploring around because I cannot fucking figure out what those numbers are used for. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, question 1, question 2, question 3, question 4. Maybe it's just an order that I need to follow the hall in order to find the ex secret exit out of that maze back then, but no, it's just... I need to read all the books so I know the number to enter the password, which I didn't realize like until for so long and I was like, wait a minute, what if I just, wait, what if our, those are passwords? And I was like, god damn it, slamming my own head. Find something nice, take it. Nothing in the box. Nothing in the box. Doodles. Nope. There's no new doodles. Dramatic snow FP. Hell yeah. Doodles, there's four of them. More dramatic snow effect, hell yeah. I'm not schizophrenic, just multifaceted. <laughs> God damn it. Hell yeah. Wow, how long is this love gonna be with us? Okay, it's over. I think it will be with us for the whole game, that would be super funny. Hilarious. Almost. Oh, no, not, 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 not that one then. I don't want to deal with angry drones at all. So we have, damn, five of the same doodles. This bucket's surprisingly heavy. Don't open. Let's try lifting it. All right. It's so heavy for us to leave. Open it, pun doorknob. Yippee! So we get an ore knob, and you know what we need to do now, right? It fits! Open the door? Yes. It's an instruction. So we start from the bottom, to the right, to the up, to the left, to the up, to the right, to the up, to the left. And that's the end. Hmm, I wonder what does that mean? Well, it's very simple. We just need to go here and we'll see the meaning. So, see, there's three eyes. One, three, one, two, two. Three, one, two, two, one, three, one, two. And that's the answer to this. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. Sorry. Oh, my throat. Uh, BRB then. Okay, there we go. Let's open the door, shall we? I'll enter it then. Oh, god damn it. It was three, one, two, two. One, three, one, two. Congratulations! Yeah. Hello, Sharma. It's said done. This can be. Can we do something? I it's. It's no use. No matter what you do, he'll end up dying here in one way or another. Who are you? The four-eyed person lets out a laugh. Stop making that face, it doesn't suit you. I'm a librarian, but you see nobody comes to read anymore. Anyhow, there's no use crying over dead me. <laughs> yeah. How could you? I promise to look after him yet. There, there, not all is lost. Aside from this person's head, I guess. I mean, we can still cook his body, or do something with it, you know? You know, zero waste. Wait, wait, don't hit me for that. 
What do you suggest I do then? Switch the channel. That's all. How will that help me? You'll see for yourself. Perhaps you'll, like, you'll get lucky enough to change history. Why should I trust you? I'm not telling you to do something unthinkable, am I? Besides, I'm quite knowledgeable about how this place works. Ah, sorry, I'm injuring myself too much. It's the first time I've talked to an actual person in years. The door's open. Aren't you in a hurry? Right. Goodbye, then. Bye-bye. Be careful if you meet the executioners on your way. They, they won't be nice like me. Okay, then there they go. I don't think we can find them outside, right? No. This time we're safe without him. Oh! Uh, okay. Charlotte averts her eyes. Enter TV? No. Yes. Okay, now it's time for us to switch the channel, shall we? Charlotte switch channel. Ah! Same place, but without the drones. The box is empty. The box is empty. The box is empty. Okay, I have a little something I notice later. But for now, let's open all the boxes, shall we? It really is meaningless to open the boxes. Yes, because all the boxes are empty this realm somehow. But this one, I don't know. I think it's a bug. So... Yeah, that... Bad and funny joke. If you click it, that happens. I don't know. I think that's a bug. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyway, yes. Oh, what's this? Not now. Opening the box is meaningless. Uh huh. So we just need to do the puzzle again, as usual. Answer the question. I need to look around more before going in there. Hall of Knowledge. Enter, yes. Hello there. It's a question. We already know the answer. There's a notebook that looks out of place. Read it? Yes. The Tale of Ink Princess. Once upon a time in a far, far away land filled with ink, lived an ink princess. Every morning she put on a pitch black ink grass and comb her black hair. After spending thousands of years dwelling in the vast ocean filled with nothing but ink, the princess decided to end her solitude. Thus the ink princess set out on her journey. Indeed. My control was gone there. I think that's one of the first few times it happens, which is amazing. And it feels very forced, like my very smooth like that. It's amazing. Felix? You? Is it really you? What kind of question is that? Of course it's me. I just got here. Is that so? Hey, why are you crying? Smile. Hug. Uh-huh. Hey. Stop that. Sure, let's go. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. Big sigh. Is that so? Anyhow, you do not have to follow me. I pinch Felix G. It's my duty to look after you, dummy. Don't underestimate, it. underestimate me and my amazing critical skills. I thought you were going to scold me for running off. You came here for a reason, right? I want to scold you. 
Just stay safe. Okay, I guess you're acting weird. You're imagining things. Take my hand so that we won't get separated, okay? It's absolutely unnecessary. No objections allowed, as Seth likes to say. The Tale of Ink Princess Part 2 Read? Yes. The princess passed through the fields, admiring how fruitful they were, and the crops got soaked in ink. The princess swam the sea, admiring how vast and clear it was, and all the fish died from pollution. Please leave these lands. Can you see everything is dying? The person begged the princess. But the ink princess was deaf to their prayer prayers, as her heart had been soaked in an ink long, long time ago. No matter where the ink, the ink princess went, she was always unwelcome. Interesting. This one is just order, so we can just walk through like this. Hello there. What book is this? They are always watching. We'll talk to you after this. The answer will be zero, right? Wow, you're actually capable of calculus. Who would have thought? Well, not really. Yeah, not really, since you're just relieving this. Uh, not yet. Mm-hmm, it's the same password. Yes, the tale of the Ink Princess Part 3. One day she stepped into the Paper Kingdom. Every step the princess took seemed the ground, leaving in irreversible footprints. Everything she touched turned pitch black as if it ne was never white before. In order to protect the city, they had to cost many, many lives. The citizen, citizen cuffed the Ink Princess and had her thrown in a pepper white prison. It seems unfinished. Indeed, it is, isn't it? This is like a reflection. You can see that the other side turns to the other side as well. Left and right, else and harmony. Hello. It's you! Thanks for earlier, it really did work, the switching to the channel thing. May I ask? Do I know you? You don't remember me? I believe it's the first time we've met. I'm really sorry, I must have mistaken you for someone I knew. That's no surprise, we all, we all must look the same to you. I'm very sorry. No need to apologize, is there a book you need to find? Perhaps I can be of assistance to my fellow bibliophiles. I do my best to keep everything in order in here, you know. Rather than book, is there a safe exit? All exits here are safe, it's a library after all. Uh, is it so? Anything else you'd like to ask? I was just curious why it's empty in this library. Ah, uh, but they are, well you see, this library is the last one in the world. The moment my people enter this place, they'll burn it into ashes. Why will they do that? Don't you know? Keeping book is a grave sin, everything has to be rewritten. Some books here, however, store information that hasn't been changed for one month. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that too short of a period of time? What will they do if they find you? They already did. I'm not sure no one come back. Ha, ah, that was a joke. I'm in the middle of setting up a better security system. The concept is that it might lure you in like an RPG game, but then you'll find out you're yourself unable to get out. Just like this? Why am I not surprised? You might think I'm being paranoid, but everyone like that these days. Anything else? Your name? Can I ask your name? Name? I'm afraid I don't have one. How shall I call you then? Hmm, males of our species are called Frey, so you can call me that. Call me that. Pray it is then, you can call me Charlotte. Charlotte. The free one, huh? Yeah, the free one. That's a beautiful name. I'll remember it. You are indeed the free one, huh? What is the meaning of freedom here? Either way, it's 365. This is the first time I have to solve puzzle and open in order to open the door. Ridiculous. Don't worry, I think I know the answer. 
gained it. This bike is surprisingly heavy. Good with John. Lift it. Let's lift it instead. Fun door knob. Interesting. It's also upside down backwards. It fits. A button door? Yes. Ah, this one. This time it's left. No, right to left. Interesting. So one three two two, one three two two three one one two, no two one. A sorted card for the exit. I'll enter it. No, don't touch it. Why are you acting so cautious all of a sudden? We've been we've been here once. I switched the channel and switched the channel. What does that even mean? I don't think I, don't think I could understand myself. After doing that, I can make the exact same place, but something had changed. Like what? Like, you're still alive. Did I die right here? Your head got cut off. Oh. Then what should we do? I'll go first, so I can run if I die before my expression date. Besides, I can afford losing you again. That's just stupid. It's the only way out. Enter the password? Yes. Wait, is it one? Yeah, I think that's that's work. Have a nice day. Enter TV. Yes, and we are out here. Oh, save time. So we already finished that TV, this TV, this TV, and. Uh, Two more TV, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Going? Yes. Ah, look at that. Space abundance. The door won't open. Stick a needle in the eye. Look at that, the eye is red. The door, the door is glaring at me. Space of gore, enter. Okay. I don't trust you, go away. The flower lady ignore us. Really? I wonder if some of them are bugged. I don't know. Strawberry hand stop. Let's go here, shall we? Space of happiness. Ah, yes. This one. Flower that lies have a bad memory. Mid thread, bells are blue. My biggest fears are meats and pomegranates. Would you be so kind to bring me the contents of the blue box? Black box, so that's a lie. Yellow, green box, black box, yellow box, liar. Liar, liar. Liar, liar. Liar. This one is the only one that doesn't lie. Would you be so kind as to bring me the contents of red box? Yeah, so we need to grab the red box content. There's no red box here, right? That's because there, I don't still don't understand why there's a little here here. But anyway, what we no, need to do now is that one is moving weirdly. That is jarring. Is to go back here and this door is unlocked without anyone telling us anything, which is like. I spent like a long time there trying to figure out what I need to do in that room until I figure out that this room is the room that we're supposed to go in. M mid. Open a box? No. If we open the wrong box... Bad and lying flowers. 
will die. Wait, I haven't got half by the meat yet, so I'm curious what will happen if we get half by the meat. Ooh, uh oh, spoiler. Oh, no, Max, yes. Final Fancy Booch. Oh, are we not supposed to die to the meat? Okay then, that's interesting. So the meats are peaceful? But there's a bunch of meats lying around, anyway. Okay then. Run! Can we die here? No? Alright then, bye bye! So we get the fancy brooch. And we need to avoid this thing here. What if we touch them? Yeah, that happens. We just die. In case you're curious what happens if we touch them. And now, let's bring the brooch. And the item there for our lady. Why, thank you. Here, you can have my old fashioned brooch. I don't need any more. Attach the brooch to my ribbon, it emits a fine line. We can use the pin attached to it. To what? Interesting. There we go. So right here we have two options. We can just do this. So we have a needle now. Press your heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in the eye. And it'll bleed. Die bleeds. As far as I know, it's basically the same thing. But, we can choose to do this instead, which is much more kinder. And that is to... Do this. Go to space of war, and then... Why didn't you tell me you were one of us? Uh, perhaps the brooch maker think you are one of them? Please help me. I'm so scared with pomegranate that I can move an inch. Huff. We can refuse helping her, can we? Alright. And there, there we go, we have the flower lady joining our party. Wow, just like me for real. And you're keeping looking at the screen, that's terrifying. And look at that. <laughs> There's a giant flower lady there. There we go. The flower lady blesses kisses. Thank you so much. Here, take this side drop as a second of my eternal gratitude. Oh, where are you going? Okay, then we can go. So now, let's go back. And this time, do it nicer. So, mm hmm? Let's use the eyedrop instead. Alright. Now it looks better. It worked. All thanks to Seth. Seth seems to prefer non-violence option because whenever there's an option to do needle, Seth chooses to, do, to use the eyedrop instead and didn't even give us a chance to use the needle. The door is closed shut. Caution, beware of the three eyes. Instruction, put a friend unit one piece in the incinerator and push down button. Go on yourself? Just kidding. Yet another cliche. I hope that I hope there will be volunteers. I hope there will. <laughs> the passport dispose of your friend unit one pieces. The door doesn't open. Beware of the three eyes, huh? The door opens. Interesting, let's save here, shall we? Ah yes, I love the Undertale saves. They're so silly. Seems like the passage opens when something heavy is standing on a block. So you're saying that one of us has to stay here. And the other bus search for another way out. That's right. Just to stay 
you shouldn't get separated. Just to stay. It stays. It's here anyway, off anyway. Are you sure you'll be fine on your own? Well, I'm never on my own. I do not quite get it. Just be careful. Take this, just in case. Will do. Receive many gossips or some feelings. Alright, so we need to get out of here, but I don't really know the way to get out of here yet. At least I don't exactly remember how. There we go, here, maybe? Here? Bingo! There we go. So, exit. Just follow the circle. And do not cross the X. It's a tic tac toe game. There we go. So this door is basically just teleporting us through this weird ass dimension without any resolution. I don't know why. It doesn't do anything as far as I know. This one, however, will just... I feel like I'm wasting time here. I wonder if, if Felix is alright, we'll have him all alone too. I'm worried too. Ex as expected from Seth, the worry word. Let's hurry back to his side. Sure thing. So we just need to go back immediately. And, oh yeah, by the way, if you step, you'll die. So we just need to go through the previous road, which is this and this. Uh, back then when I played this, I kind of forget that we need to go back through the previous way and was like complaining what, complaining why it doesn't work until I remember. Oh wait, I need to follow the tic tac toe again. So okay, let's do this, shall we? Oh wow, this is so confusing. I don't think that's the right path. This is the right path. Right here, there we go. God damn, we are being pushed so far away. And here we go. Run, 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 run. Felix isn't here. Well, that's bad, isn't it? Oh no. The door is half open. Open the door? Yes. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly on his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly on his nose. I've always wondered what rabbits had inside their bellies. I am this surprised. It wasn't cotton. Yeah. That's late. The girl approaches me, leaving the boy like a toy she lost interest in. Why, hello, dear guest. The girl touches my cheek with her blood-soaked hand. Why are you so sad? Does it hurt anywhere? I'm here, I'll sing you a get better song. Pain, pain, go away, don't come back the other day. Run. What about Felix? We must live without him. Over my dead body. Snap out of it. He's not even a person. 
What are you saying? I get it. We just have to switch the channel to make everything right. Hey! Who are you talking to? There's no one but me. The very next moment the girl looks at me as if she's seeing me for the first time. Let's play hide and seek. I'll close my eye and count sixty. Make sure you find a good place to hide. Or else... You're it. One, two... You just skip ten seconds, I'll write them. We cannot go back to hide, even in case you're wondering. Oh, sorry, someone came to my room and I talked to me. Either way, uh, the reason I just stand there is because it doesn't matter. Are you? There we go. Tea room. Embarrassment after tea time. <laughs> the meat is not yet rotten, but the body is hollow. You never answered it there. This is no good. Not only you have led the girl to the wrong path, you've only lost control of her actions and and you've been manipulated by her. I cannot congratulate you on such an embarrassment of an ending. I'm deeply sorry for my inappropriate behavior as puppet her. I hereby request you grant me another chance. That's quite a bold request, dear boy. I'll grant it, however. Death can be rather amusing. Try as many times you like. We get teleported here. If we go back to the title screen and load here, we can also do this, which will trigger a dialogue and triggers a choice for us, which will happen if we skip this. Interesting design. Here, I think it will trigger a dialogue. Oh, there we go. There's no place to hide. Where are you? I don't want to be cut alive. Please, please kill me before she does, Seth. I'm begging you. No way, are you out of your mind? You see, it's a bad end for me unless you ruin time. I'm dead one way or another. I still have the sisters really gave me. You know what to do, right? Yeah, I know what to do. The time is still like ticking when that happens. Bring soap. <laughs> that, that's what I need to do. No, I'm just kidding. So, where was it? Scissors. Best choice for running the hallways. Try to use scissors himself. Step, step. Step, step. Step, step. Step, step. On you! But I don't think there's animation, so yeah. It's the same thing. Unfortunately. So we need to continue through the casual means. And we are teleported back here for a reason. Duct tape. Okay then. So here we are again. In the same situation. But. Somehow I feel that I've been here before. 
How about one of us goes to check what is ahead? Yeah, but something is different. That may be dangerous if we choose that Charles stays. I'll wait here. You're not going alone, of course. My brother will go with you to ensure your well being, right? That's right. I need to understand. Just be careful, take this just in case. Receive medical sister from Felix. Ooh. Okay, I. See you later. So I misclick. But what happens is that, uh. Hello? Can you just get me? Okay. But what happen if we choose Charlotte? Charlotte will... Charlotte to say. Charlotte will reject it. No, Felix to say. Charlotte will reject it and... Seth makes uh, Felix the one that stays. So we need to end ourselves here again. BRB. Okay, now we are back here. If we choose Felix to say. I feel like something bad will happen if stay. Why? There's no one around. You're not going. Harriet. That's fine. So it's Charlotte that's going to say. Uh huh. There we go. Now we are controlling Felix. Unfortunately, there's no safe option. So if we get killed here, we will just get teleported super, super far away, which is like unfortunate. At the very best. Oh god. Oh god, 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 god. Oh, there we go. Like that was very simple. Red heart, what does it mean? Does it symbolize anything? I don't know. What's wrong? Wait a minute, I'll check on Charlotte. Alright. Hello there. Isn't it dangerous for a little girl to wander here all alone? I'm waiting for my friends to come back to my side. Is that so? Well, it's a pity they won't make it back before you meet your death in 10 minutes. That'd be bad. Seth will get fired if I die without him by my side. Is that all, all there is to it? I don't want to cause anyone trouble. Well, well, aren't you a nice child? But Felix, will he be okay? I'm afraid he'll die shortly after. There's one way to save your friend, however. Oh, uh, sorry, someone entered my room. The masked man whispered something to Charlotte. Is that okay? Got it. Even though you disagree with my methods. It's the only way to save him, right? I'm too weak to do anything alone. The man pets Charlotte's head. Don't blame for yourself for a single thing, child. Well then. Okay. Do this. I'm immediately done with it. Oh, should I skip that? Please. Ah, uh, the human body is such a fragile thing. I can just apologize if I suddenly break it, can I? Well then, what do we have here? Um, all this junk is no good. Scissors, not bad, but not the best option either. Such a shame I'll get this pretty dress dirty. Aha. Uh -huh. Hi, do you wanna play hide and seek it with me and my friends? You see, I'm really, really, really bored. That's right, let's play a game. Boredom's the worst, isn't it? Haha. <laughs> Did you all notice that the... That the... Eyes is different? It's yellow. And yellow is just like... The color of the eyes of the... Umbrella man. Open your eyes! Here comes the scissors! Yeah. Huh? Who is this person? What was I? I just have to switch the channel to make everything alright. Right? Hey. Don't make me a murderer. <sighs> Sorry, Charmot. Let's go back, shall we?
There we go, we just need to save here so we can safely pass through this without repeating all of that, like ha 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 ha. Oh god dang it. Wrong path, wrong path. There we go. Smooth operator. Let's go. Shell isn't here. Yeah, Charlotte isn't there. Huh. Oh, look at the door. That's not bleeding. Charlotte? Felix, Seth, how are you? You think you're safe and sound? Are you hurt anywhere? And what in the world are you stuffing into the incinerator? Uh, the bullets in mine. While you were away, I forgot to stuff the mid chunks we saw earlier in here. Is that so? Are you alright? Yeah, sorry for worrying you. Yes, I was worried about you, but here you are covered in blood and more obnox obnoxiously cheerful than ever. Well, sorry about that. Wait. You are worried about me? That's something new. You make it sound like I'm a jerk. <laughs> I, I, I guess you are. Well, thank you for trusting me, Seth. You are truly my friend. I'm a puppeter, not a friend. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Then you're the best puppeter ever. Let's go, everyone. Let's go, shall we? The incinerator machine is humming. It's open. Charlotte? Yeah, are you really alright? You're spacing out. It's nothing. Liar. Fine, you don't have to tell me what happened. Here, take my hand. Charlotte takes Felix and she's shaking. Let's go in. Right. And we are back here. So we already solved this one. This one is open. This one and then the last TV is there. Hey Felix. Yes. Can you tell me more about what we are looking for? I know I'm not as smart as you, but I'll try to understand. Well, all I know is that the people here are called Phytias, who were created by an oracle, whom they call their god, at least used to. Phytias are extremely powerful, they can alter reality to their will, which was most likely resulted in different dimensions being created. From what I've gathered, every species perceives them differently, otherwise they wouldn't look so, uh... So human? Right, you. Last time I visited, there were much, much more of them, yet we barely met anyone on our way. This place is a mess. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Perhaps something bad happened. Perhaps indeed. Animation warning, organic tissue ahead. Look at that. That's blood, isn't it? It would be amazing if we walk in here and then when we walk here, it's just like we left Oops. Cracks everywhere. Oh, hello there. Great, a dead Phidia. Poor thing. Another dead body. It's not moving. They all look the same. We probably look the same to them as well, you know. There are so many of them. Slaughterhouse one. Enjoy the vacation with style, Bosa. It's always here when you need it the most. Come with two blade. No, oh, we are not taking that. A weapon will come in handy though. Not when you don't know how to use it. Just get these days. I can almost hear you saying from their side of the control of console. Interesting. Ways to find out if your network is possessed by God. One, should he miss you on God damn it. That's amazing, I love that. Sarda has two. You know what, uh, BRB, I'm gonna go back there and actually screenshot that to post online. I love that so much. Okay, so let's enter this one. Doctor House 2. Safe spot. 
she says we are her. It's not moving. There are so many of them. Dead. The third. Slowed out her stream. There's no one in this room, only the corpses. Another dead body. Uh, take a minute to remember the. Take a second to remember the shape of the room, will you? Because that's going to be important later. I wonder what happened here. Slaughterhouse 6. A running corpse. Maybe she's just sleeping. Slaughterhouse 5. Ah! Uh, we can absolutely get killed there, by the way. Bed and executed. Connection lost, try again. Sardar has power. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. The door remains closed. The door won't open. Okay. The second nine. The fourth one. They all have the same faces. You already did mention that, and two. that is rather underestimating them. Four. Four, nine. Eight one. Oh yeah, color mask obtained. Get one today for free, executioner mask. Put secute into execute. I'm an, an absolute must have for all ladies and gentlemen. How do I look? Rather amazing. <laughs> what? what? I mean, yeah, uh, uh, sh sure, that's a good way to hide people's being a follower of God or something. There we go. Got the pain off with amp amputation saw made of high school steel. Who said the girl best friend was diamonds? <laughs> I love it. That. Rotting corpse. There's a second nuts in Hebel. 837 529. Update a note. 837 529. So we need that for this door right here. Input a password. There we go. Television room. When you can sleep, don't count sheep. Count on your chainsaw. Fight for equality. I think I heard something behind the door. I hope it's not executioners. Right now we are the executioners, remember? Open the door, yes. Ah. Maybe she's just sleeping. Not a dead body. It's a dead body, huh? One of the dismembered bodies is moving. She's alive! Well, well, hello dear. Executioners. You're so tiny, yet you're the ones who came to end the life of our, of our last child. How you're on it. Come forth and swing your blade, don't make us wait any longer. I'm very sorry, but we won't harm you in any way. You won't? How come? Well, for starters, we are not one of your kind. We take off our mask. The girl extends her weak hands to my face. 
just two eyes. You are merely a traveler.、Uh, am I missing something? Hush. We are speaking to a real oracle, the creator of all that exists in this universe. This body is just a dying vessel. It's、uh, an Artemidia. He seems to be a good child. We believe we've known your parent once. What does it mean? Huh? The girl casts a blood. We shall leave these lands, for we do not have much time left. What about this girl? She can no longer be saved. But we, we wish to be with our children until the very end. But they are only corpses. We shall leave Charlotte. Right. Will we meet again? Seek and you shall find. Goodbye. So that's how they portray oracles here. She is beautiful. Just for your information, oracles do not have physical form nor gender. The one depicted here is more than a young Pythian priestess. Interesting. Then I wonder who was that person back then, the three-eyed one. Curious. Christmas morning, you will be happier with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, th th that's actually so true. An old family adventure, goat hunt. Goat hunt. Hunt your goat right now. Buy our airport guns for an affordable fun experience. Wisman gun, barrels of, of fun. So that's why there's so many guns in this place. God damn it. Everyone is born to execute. Become an executioner today. Sign up for the God Hum by calling us. Feeling oppressed? Your life is wrecked. You did nothing wrong. Get your revenge by joining the God Hum today. Interesting. Now let's open this door, shall we? One last door to go. Let's take our little break, shall we? Right here. There we go. And then last life vision. Somehow I'm feeling it'll be the last time I visit. Well, it might it might be not far from the truth. Well, then let's go. I feel like I have to apologize. For what? Many things, running away, putting in danger, making you come here. I found what I was looking for, yet I feel no satisfaction at all. I don't have the slightest idea of what happened in this place. I still don't. I thank Uncle for recognizing my achievements. If I read the paper on the oracles, a phenomenal entity. Yet this oracle and the universe tricks of death. I was twenty billion years too late. You must be thinking how meaningless this journey was. Feel free to laugh at me. Okay. It's okay. Please stop blaming yourself. Isn't everything in our life pretty much meaningless? There's a tiny army, like worms or maggots, even or maggots. Haha, -ha. the cats. Yet we consider ourselves important and do everything to benefit ourselves. Isn't that what's laughable? Besides, I like going on adventures with you. For me, it's like being with a friend. Huh. <laughs> What's up with that pseudo intellectual monologue? Don't try to seem smarter than you are, human maggot. Aren't we already friends? If if you say so. Um, what are we waiting for? Let's go in. Ah. Applause, applause. Welcome, welcome, dear guests. We are waiting for you. Now we can finally have a talk. Well then, did you enjoy the show? Was it not to your liking? Look at that and left at school. The show. Well, of course, all of the worlds you have visited. It, there used to be an infinite number of channels, you know. Now they've turned into mere recordings of their past glory. If I ask, if I may ask, what happened to this world? Many, many things. A long time ago, we used to be called God, although we were never one. We never were one. Our own children raised a knife against us. We used to have thousand hands, 
Yet they've cut all of them off, and now we are powerless. We used to observe the world with billion of eyes, yet they gouge out every single one, and now we are blind. We used to walk in leaps and bounds through the worlds we created, yet we can no longer take a single step as our legs were taken away. The creations we dearly love regardless of their deep destroyed themselves, and now we are alone. Yet we forgive them for their sin, and we forgive you. Mm -hmm. You see, the universe we created is dying. Nothing exists anymore. All we can do is indulge in the memories of the past no matter how distorted they are. Soon we will fall apart, so will this land and those walking on it. Then we'll be traveling. They absolutely have to return home by tomorrow's morning. Well, there's a way, human child. Do you wish to try? We can refuse here, but... What will happen if we refuse, actually? Input error. What do I have to do? We can only agree. I tried to agree. I did not try to refuse back then. I only clicked agree and didn't try to refuse because I'm pretty sure it's, it'll be the same result. Then your hands on screen, will you? Are you sure about this? Well, there's another way you can leave, didn't you hear the oracle? You'll not have listened to me either way, would you? If I didn't want to cause trouble for anyone, for anyone. In the end, I am quite a troublesome person, aren't I? I put my hands on the screen. The Oracle, now the god of this world, put their palms to much mine on the other side of the screen. I can only vaguely remember what happened next. I accepted the god into my heart, and we all come hand in hand. Everything that I was became her, and everything that she was became part of me. Together we said goodnight to the dying moon. All the life, the planet, the stars, the black holes, even the atoms has ceased to exist. One by one the channels switch off. Yeah, see that? The channels are switching off. The Oracle used my body as a vessel and used up all the re remaining power she had to bring us home. Thanks to that, we were able to make it back home safely. While we were away, not a second person in our world. That was quite a story, my dear. We personally meet an Oracle, even a dying one. What a great luck you've run into. Well, who would have known? You always have to wear this creepy mask when you see me. I know you're using Father's body as a container to talk to me anyway. Easy with the tongue, dear. I thought it would be inconsiderate of me to have to chat with you while using someone you know as a vessel, but if he insists. The mirror man takes off his mask. Hey, look at him. Better now? Yep, much better. Your eyes have such pretty color. Stay, umbrella man. Hum. Do you happen to know the person I met in the TV world? Why are you so sure there was anyone there at all? Well, that's because... I commented on an imaginable scene, yet I only vaguely remember it, as if I watched it from sight. Your naivety never ceased to amuse me. Of course we had to edit your source code shortly after you come back. I can tell her the truth, can I? You are talking as if we are in a video game. Uh, um, yeah? Most of the worlds are caught based made here. As you say. But why would you do that? Those memories were unnecessary. Remember, we do not want you to fail your education program. It's already messed up enough with an oracle becoming a part of you. I'm sure Mr. Strath will be greatly upset if you do go around because you have a quen when he is in Loki. You both know I'm not like that, sir. Ahem. By the way, I'm really surprised that you were able to contain a god-like entity without all of your life support system collapsing. Probably she was too weak to do that much damage to my body. Hmm. What has become of them now? She's still sleeping. I wish she had helped more. Even after seeing her memories, I still don't know much about her. The oracles? 
What exactly are they really? One could compare them to stars reaching the end of their lives. They gradually lose all their powers and become infantile white dwarves. Think for yourself, will the god capable of creating new life from zero cares for such an insignificant beings like you? Aren't you talking to me right now? Haha, <laughs> good one. Well, isn't it great that you meet a new friend? Yeah, indeed. Now take your pills and go sleep. No, not the pills. Well, then when you do not have in your lessons, although they only postpone your unemployment status. Thanks for finding an hour to spend with me. Good night, Mr. Miller Man. Good night, little Charlotte. Receive pills. So the, the, the mic is shaped like a cat. If you notice that, that's cool. I'm off to sleep then. Sleep well. Gotta take the pills first. Books of food. The executioner. Question mark. Pythia. Freya and Frey. Type 4 civilization, extremely dangerous, but fun. Males have 4 eye sockets, females have 3. Interesting. Pills. Abilify. Abilify? 100mg, 30 tablets. What the hell is Abilify? Look the pills. Nothing happened. Until. Yeah. Nothing ever interests. Enough TV for this week. This happens. I, I still don't know what Abilify is. Mom bought some pomegranates on our fruit. Dear Charlotte, I'll be home late. Call 0800XXX to order fruit from Junkies. So some mom. Hill were inside. A painting. Flowers. It's warm by the fireplace. A painting. A blower. Flowers. Basement door, nothing of interest. I'm the sleepy to wander around, let's sleep, Seth. First floor. The door is locked. Same book, same book. I don't need to call anywhere right now. There's nothing on the table. That's cool. An empty basket. A teddy bear. Hi there, big toy. A teddy toy with me. An empty basket. Hi, my cat. Meow. Sleep? Yes. I wonder if I'll see sp space fish in my dreams. Good night, Charlotte. I like my rabbit toy. Good night, Felix. Felix? Good night, Emerald Man and Oracle. Good night, Guardian Angel who watches over me. Hello, Charlotte, Episode 1 Junk Food, Gods and Diddy Bears. Thank you for playing. I hope you enjoyed playing this game as much as I enjoyed making it. See you next time in Episode 2 of the Rain. And there we go. That's the end of Hello, Charlotte, Episode 1. So, give me a few moments uh, to, for, to form my thoughts and stuff so I can talk about this game. So we have finally reached the end of Hello Charlotte. It's been a fun game actually like the, the whole game the whole game is just a wild trip going on and I love it. Also I did a little research on what Abilify is and it is what I think it is certainly. It's a schizophrenia medication which is interesting in the aspect of the game. So let's see my review of the game. I really love how uh, act 1 and Act 3, I, I divided the game into 3 acts. So the Act 1 is the when we explore the house, Act 2 is the teddy bear, and Act 3 is the part where we explore the god realm. I really like Act 1 and Act 3 and especially how they're connected together. It's done quite well. Act 2 as well, there's a connection with Act 3 obviously with the mirror dimension stuff like that. It's kind of subtle but you can notice it with the when you switch channel that it's mirrored as well. Uh, but I kinda don't like, don't like Act 2 because 
I feel like it's out of place compared to like the first one with the uh, exploration of the of a weird home and stuff like that and sudden and act three with the exploration of a god realm that we enter through the television which is understandable but the teddy bear is just like hmm although i must say that maybe maybe it's actually quite understandable because this game itself is weird and it's what it's trying to convey and uh, the weirdness of it through teddy bears as well the how out of place it is i'm not really sure but yeah it could be like that, you know, just a companion um, way of a representation, representation of a, a schizophrenic human child, which is cool if I think like that. This game also has very amazing characters. I really love all the characters: Huxley, Bennett, Aiden, especially Bennett. Bennett is just amazing with a soap. I really love the soap. I also love Charlotte, obviously, as the main character. She is just very silly and amazing. And also Felix. Felix a, a little bit. Just 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 a little soft Sundere boy. And also, ooh, the Umbrella Man is so cool. And Seth as well. Also the god the gods. But yeah, the world building of this game is just amazing. The use of the sound make the everything whole we the the use of the sound to make everything feels really weird is also just amazing and very bold. I didn't expect that, but it's cool. I, I really enjoyed the whole experience of just listening to Cheese Greater Remix, which is fine by me because it tries to convey the weirdness on itself. What else could I say about the game? Uh, I'm trying to convey my thoughts so I can review better here. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, now let's talk about some aspect that I could consider also ba bad from the game, which is the level design. Sometimes you go around thinking that you are locked out of an area or like you need to do something in an area until later you realize that, oh my god, you're supposed to go to this area and just complete it. As an example, uh, with the, with the, what do you call it, the floor with the, no, the the flower place where I was like exploring around in the previous, at least in the previous playthrough, not this playthrough because this is a re-record. In the previous playthrough, I walk around wondering why there is no boxes or something that I need to deal with in here until I realized I just need to go back to the previously locked door that has no indication that it has been opened. And then, what else? Uh, honestly, I kind of only remember that being horrible but I think there is a few more that was like just confusing with a locked door and stuff like that that you realize later oh it's on maybe some of the puzzle I guess but other than that it, it, it's just a minor flaw honestly like you, you can deal with it after thinking for a bit I guess but either way that's all for hello Charlotte oh wait wait I almost forgot I need to show you this bit and then and then we are going to end the video, alright? Okay, so I don't remember to show you all this, but this stupid fucking door. This fucking door that keeps asking us question about, like, what's the magic word to open the door? Please! What's 2 plus 2? 4? And now, this. Access denied. What came first? Egg or chicken? This door is the bully. Yes, I agree. Fuck you, door. It must be malfunctioning. I'll open it. And then something happened that I didn't notice back then in the previous playthrough. I just noticed now is that access denied. Proof that you're not a mach fuck you. Proof that you're not a machine. How? There's no option any more option to prove that we are not a machine. So we are just fucking locked here. Unless there is a way that I don't realize. But either way, yeah. That is all I want to show you. I think actually there is something else that I want to show. Oh yeah, this. You can do this actually, I didn't even notice. So, give it to Felix? No? Really? I think I could give soap to Felix. See? Yeah, Felix reacted to soap. It's not that bad. I think I understood that one time I have agreed to drink Krolox with Bennett. 
But either way, yeah, that's that's all I could show for a little bit of that I missed back then. Anyway, yes, I hope you enjoy it. See you later then in my next video or the next episode of Hello Charlotte, which probably next week or something. Bye bye. Oh, <laughs>